Hello and welcome again to this session on data types and data objects. This session is very very important because this gives a basic understanding or the fundamental component of writing in a web program which is what is data type and what is data object. What is a data type? A data type is denoting what type of data that you are going to program with. In this, we have two categories. One is the predefined data types and the variable length data type. And these two comes under the elementary types. If you speak about predefined data types in ABAP, we have eight predefined data types starting from character, numeric, date, time, hexadecimal, integer, floating point number, and fact numbers. When you come to variable length data type, we have string and x string. What are the standard data types that is available? We have two types of standard data types, which is called referenced type, which is called as a complex types. Referenced type or nothing but which describes the data object that contain references to the other object. What is a complex type then? Complex types or types that allows you to manage and process related data and error a single name. For example, the structures and the internal tables. These two components we are yet to discuss. We will be discussing this in the coming sessions, which is very, very important. And these are all complex in nature, which needs a better explanation for a better understanding. We will see lots in the coming session. Moving on to the predefined elementary types of data, which I have told you before. This table shows you what are their capabilities. When you speak about integer, which comes under the numeric type. So, integers initial field length is 4 and the maximum number that it can hold is 4. The initial value is always 0. Whereas a packed decimal, which is P, has got initial field length of 8 and the maximum length of 8 and an initial value of 0. We have the floating type data type which is denoted by F whose initial field length is 8 digits and which can have a maximum of 1 to 16 digits whose initial value is 0 0.00. Coming to the next category which is called as a character type, we have character data type star with denoted with C whose initial field length is 1 and it can range till 65,535. The next data type is numeric denoted by N which also comes under the character category because numeric will accept the numeric digits from 1 to 65,535. It has got mostly the properties of a character data type and hence it is categorized under the character type. D stands for date, which is 8 digits, maximum digits is 8. The usual format of date is DD, MM and YYYY. The next data type is time, denoted by T, whose initial field length is 6 and the maximum field length is 6 which is denoted by SS, 
mm h we have one other data type which is called as a hexadecimal data type which is denoted by x whose initial field length is 1 which range which can range till 65535 characters long Coming to the data objects, what are data objects? Well, data objects are physical units with which ABAP statements really work. It has got a lot of technical attributes speaking with length, the decimal places, the data types, etc. When you speak about data objects, they are always defined with a data keyword. It can also refer to an existing data object. So the data object can always refer to an existing data object. We'll see more in the examples. So one of the predefined data objects is the space, which is a constant which is of type C, whose length is one byte, contains a space character. We have some system data objects that is given standard by SAP, which always starts with SY. These system variables will be what we will see in the coming sessions with respect to a hands-on. So, SY sub RC is nothing but a written code for ABAP statements. It returns 0 when a statement is executed successfully and it returns a value 4 when it is not executed successfully. SY U name, which returns back the logon name for the user. SY rep ID, which represents the current ABAP program. SY T code, which represents the current transaction we are in. SY index, which represents the number of current loops that's been passed. For example, you are moving one number to another number. It means a source to a destination with the help of a move data object. Here's a simple example that depicts the same. Finally, we have arithmetic operator. Arithmetic operator or nothing but mathematical expression starting from addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And we have something called integer division. And we have something called reminder of integer division and powers, which is referred by DIV, MOD, two asterisk, respectively. Hope you have enjoyed the session. See you with more details in the coming lecture.